I also rise to adjourn in memory of a good friend of mine, Leon Berliner of Eureka. I met Leon over 40 years ago when he brought his young family to Humboldt County to launch Redwoods United Workshop, a community nonprofit that provided employment to those with disabilities. I did not learn until just a few years ago that he was also a Holocaust survivor. His story of how he escaped from a concentration camp as a boy with the aid of his mother, whom he left behind, was included in the Assembly's Holocaust Memorial Project in 2010. He would never see his mother again and learn later that she had died at Auschwitz. After the war, Leon was classified as stateless because neither Belgium, where he was born, nor Poland, his father's native country, would give him citizenship. At age 13, he sailed to America aboard a rusting Liberty ship, the SS Ernie Pyle. Leon became a U.S. citizen, got an education, served in the U.S. Army, and made a life for himself in this, his adopted country. He married his wife, Diana, in 1960, and remained married to her until his death last month. In the 70s, Leon's son, Larry, had a junior high school teacher who was a Holocaust denier. When Leon learned of this, he confronted the teacher, who invited Leon to speak to his class about his Holocaust experience. And as a result of that, for decades afterwards, Leon went to local schools every year to talk to students about his experiences during the Holocaust. He decided it was time to not be quiet about it anymore. Later in life, Leon started a business in Old Town Eureka, Berliner's, Berliner's Cornucopia, where many Humboldt County residents bought classical music, including myself. Leon loved music. He rooted for the San Francisco Giants. He loved playing cards and intellectual discussion. He was a doting father and grandfather and dedicated husband an active community member until the end of his life. Now, Leon's life served as an example of someone who could survive the worst of human atrocities and, and yet turn around uh, later in his life and prosper and bring so much to the lives of so many. He will be sorely missed.